Welcome back. Rezoning a firehouse into your home comes with some really cool challenges. But the rewards are red hot. Check it out. On the outskirts of Kansas City, Kansas, stands an historic building with the most unusual clothes closet. This was the jail cell. We wear the same size, so this is how he keeps me from wearing his stuff. Exactly. Wait just a minute here. A fire station with a jail cell? And of course, it was City Hall for the city of Rosedale. Gotta have a jail. They erected this in 1912. It was fire station number one and city hall. It was the entire city operations along with the fire department at that time. This was originally the main entrance into city hall, which is now the main entrance into our home. Antique dealers Don Fields and Rick Baumgartner have created an opulent 12,000 square foot home, including three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Going off to the right is the kitchen. And off to the left is the library. And of course, a formal dining room and living room. All above the two fire truck garage. Don and Rick even managed to preserve some of the original fire station's decor. Because we have 12-foot ceilings, we chose to do 8-foot solid wood doors. This one, however, was original to the building, and because it said fire station number one, we wanted to keep it. Yep, the fire station was renumbered in the early 1930s. From fire station number one to fire station number 10. But of course, it wasn't always this opulent. Jim Frizzell should know. He was battalion chief here. It's the first fire station I worked at when I came on the job back in 1974 jail cell was in there, it, there was nothing fancy. It was pretty drab. The floors had a lot of ripples in them where they'd warped over the years and torn up linoleum on the floors. And if it wasn't such a homey place with all the guys and everything that you were working with, most people wouldn't want to stay here. So what in the world would cause two antique dealers to turn this drab, albeit historic, fire station into their home? Don and I saw the building um, driving home from work one evening and the firemen were all sitting around outside. They were actually fishing in a manhole cover and it made us laugh hysterically. And from there on out, we always paid attention to the building. But transforming this stone and brick firehouse was no small task. You know, if we had probably thought about it at all, we would never have done it, um, which I think probably most people say when they start a renovation project or after they're done with the renovation project. Once we started demolition, and saw the, the product that was ahead of us. It was mind-boggling and overwhelming. I think all of our friends thought we were crazy. Completing all the work themselves, it took Rick and Don two and a half months just to gut the second floor. And we actually took it back down to the studs, took the lath and plaster off the walls. We installed new wiring. We put in um, insulation, um, sanded the floors. It was pretty much like building a new home in an old structure. And it had the old knob and tube wiring with the, you know, the circuit breakers that were fuses. Uh, it was very, very dirty tearing out lath and plaster. I mean, you would be covered in dirt from head to toe. One of the last straws was Rick said, we absolutely have to get the kitchen done because we were washing dishes in the tub. And he saw an onion float by him. After four years of renovation, Rick and Don are finally able to enjoy their new home. But at least now it's comfortable and you can come home in the evening and drink a beer and watch TV. And what upstanding fire station would be complete without, you guessed it, a fire pole? We kept that. We thought that was one of the most unique elements about the entire house and um, periodically we do come down the fire pole. We think it's one of the greatest things that there is in the world. In fact, the first time we came down the pole, we both said we wanted to do it again, ran back up the stairs and it was better than any amusement park because there were no long waiting lines. It is fun. The fire pole is strategically located directly above the huge fire truck garage. Originally, these were the truck bays. There were two fire trucks that backed in through the big garage doors here. Now, living in a firehouse comes with additional commitments and responsibilities. People with flat tires, people looking for directions, people wanting you to get their cat out of the tree. 
I mean, there's no telling who will be the next person that wanders in. Almost daily, we get somebody stopping by. He's done wonders to it. Doesn't even look like the same place. I think it's great. To see the fruits of your labor um, really pay off, it's been a wonderful experience.